Data files are a great way to access information from CSV, JSON, or YAML files on your Jekyll website. You can almost treat these files like a database. In this example, we have a map which shows all the outlets of our bakery store. And at the moment, we have one in Wellington, but there's other outlets, so we need to add more markers. I'll quickly run through the source code. So we have a div with an ID of map canvas. This is the container for our map. Then we have a whole lot of JavaScript, which is used to initialize the map, style it, add the markers, and position the map correctly. What we're really focused on is this variable here, the markers array. And this has the latitude, longitude, and title of all our outlets. Currently, there's only one. So how would we add more? Well, we could copy this. And now we have two items, and we could just change the latitude and longitude and title um, to be our second outlet. And this works OK. But we can do better with Jekyll data files. So to create a data file, I'll start by creating a new folder and naming it underscore data. Inside this, I'll create a file called locations.csv. So I'm going to paste in my CSV data. So this first row is the heading names for each column. And then each row is a different outlet. And we have the latitude, longitude, and then the name of that outlet. And this could just as easily be a JSON or YAML file. OK, now let's use that on our contact page. So instead of outputting the markers like this, let's just output them straight from our CSV file. So we'll start with our liquid tags, and then we can access our data file using site.data um, and then the name of the file. So here it's locations. So this gives us an array of all the items in our locations file. Uh, so if we wanted to get the first item's uh, latitude, we could go dot first dot latitude. What we want to do is generate a JSON array with all that data. And luckily, there's a filter which can help us do this. So we can just run it through the JSONify filter, and that's going to create a JSON array of all the data in locations. So now when we view the page, it lists all the locations in that CSV file. And viewing the source, you can see that array here. To add another outlet to the map, we just need to add another line to our CSV file. Uh, so we'll paste in another one here. And refreshing the map, we now have another outlet. In this next example, I want to show you how you can use data files to contain metadata for your blog post authors. So here we have a JSON object where the keys are the author's short name. And then we have metadata with the full name, image path, and Twitter handle. Now let's look at the blog posts. And we'll add an author to the front matter. So this one's author is George, and this one is Mike. And we could have specified the author's metadata in here, but it would mean that each new blog post, we would have to copy across the full metadata. Whereas doing it this way, we only have to use the short name, and then we can reference the data in authors.json. So if we go to blog.html, I want to add an image of the author and link to their Twitter page when I'm printing out the blog posts. So first we'll add an A tag. And we'll link to um, twitter.com slash, and then we need the handle name. So to get the handle name, we need to go to the data file. So we'll go to site.data.authors. And now we need to get the current author. So we'll add it in square brackets. And the current author is post.author. So this is getting the author from the front matter. 
and then that in turn gets that author's metadata from the author's data file. And I want to access the Twitter handle. Now we'll do the same thing for the image. Uh, we want to source and an alt tag. So the source, I'll just copy this across. The source will be the image path and the alt tag will be the full name. And we'll add a class as well. Now when we view the blog page, um, each post has the author's image beside it and clicking on the image takes us to their Twitter profile. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.